Okay so this is actual content not just me stealing stories from reddit typing a couple words into text to speech. Whatever no one even watches this crap. So one fine morning was in my car on my way to work, daily routine and shite like that. My office is only 10 minutes from my apartment. All I do is just listen to morning radio on the way at times. So will I turn on the radio. There is a segment on the radio show called Second Date Update Well the segment aims at reconnecting you to a date that is blowing you off from the first date. The person who called in can stay on the line and listen to the conversation while they follow up with the other person. Trust me this is not scripted. So well this girl calls into the radio show and tells the radio folks how she had a great time on the date with this guy and she thinks he is the one. He messaged her twice after the date and then the dude just went Mia. Did not return phone calls, messages etc. for almost two weeks. So the radio show tells her they will call the dude and find out why has he been suddenly blowing her off. So they call Kyle. Following is the conversation. Kyle, hello, who's this? Radio guys, can I speak to Kyle? Kyle, yeah this is he. Radio guys. So Kyle, this is a morning show and we do this segment dot 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 blah blah explanation. So you have not returned her calls or texts for a couple of days. Did anything go wrong? Kyle, no she is an interesting girl. I really liked her and will like to go out with her again but I have this personal thing I need to take care of and I cannot discuss this on radio. Radio guys, we have to tell her something. We cannot just say he had something personal and more important than you and hence was blowing you off. Kyle, well my Rami just recently introduced me to this game Destiny and basically I have to finish this now. I cannot stop playing it. Radio guys, dude you are blowing your date off just because you want to play a video game. Kyle, no guys this is not just a video game. You have to try this. This thing is amazing. I cannot stop playing it. I have not been to work for the past three days and just want to finish this first. The girl listening to the conversation cannot believe it and just loses her cool on the phone. Calls him a kid and cuts the phone line. This is when I decided to try the game. And to my utter disbelief I could not stop playing it. I did take two days off work just to learn Vogue. I made excuses to my girl for not meeting her up and all. My days and nights had no difference anymore. And since then I have played this game religiously. I love this game and I hope there are people out there with similar weird stories how they got into destiny. The end. Neat little story there pal. Next is a complaint about Cade. With Destiny 2 gameplay trailer released today I'm very happy at how little of Cade we saw compared to all of the premiere and focus in Destiny 1 ATM. With Taken King and beyond Cade has become the joke character the cool, sly, cunning, funny guy as one of the leaders of the Guardians. While the focus on him isn't bad throwing in cheap laughs truly ruins the immersion with how dire and atmospheric it can really be. Bungie seems to throw his lines in at the worst of time in hopes to gain some kind of reaction from the community, like naming the new raid boss Gary without seeing any backstory or even the character himself. Already a joke because Cade is the funny relatable one. I'm not coming here to really shout my dislike of Cade to the point everyone should hate him. But I think Bungie could look at not overusing his character for cheap social responses from the community. We are finally getting a bigger game, with more interaction from everything Destiny 1 could not have accomplished. The last thing needed to treat the entire thing as a joke. I will be playing Destiny 2, and I can't wait for the release. End of story. Are you happy now? And now for a couple short stories and yeah that's it. First Forsaken Story Mission in the Prison. Fantastic Atmosphere good fights and that ominous knowledge of what was to come. Also, even though I had read that Nathan Fillion didn't voice Cade in Forsaken, Nolan North did such a good job I didn't even think about it until long after I was done. 
in the initial iron banana of D2 my clan and I steamrolled folks for a random evening with just a little bit of coordination and letting the enemy keep a single point then squatting. We probably annoyed the hell out of people for a few days, but seeing 150-50 scores or mercy calls from Saladin were super satisfying. Well that's the video. Not like anyone's watching. Thank you.